Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a perfect gyro turning program for LEGO Mindstorms EV3. Start by making a block. Call this block gyro turn. Go to add an input and you're going to call the input turn value. Save your block. Grab a reset gyro angle block and switch it to your correct port. Grab an if-then-else block. Go to operators and grab a greater than operator. You're going to grab a turn value and you're going to put it in here and a zero and put it in the second slot. You're going to grab a repeat until block and you're going to put it in both cases. To start off, you're going to grab a greater than operator. In the first section of the greater than operator, you're going to go to sensors and grab your gyro angle block. Switch it to your desired port. Now grab a subtraction block. In the second value of the subtraction block, you will want one. And in the first value of the subtraction block, you'll grab turn value from up here and stick it in there. You're going to go to movement and add a start moving at 50-50 speed block. For the first speed, you're going to want to grab an addition block. In the second value of the addition block, you're going to do 5. In the first value of the addition block, you're going to do a subtraction block. In the second value of the subtraction block, you'll have this, your gyro angle. The first value of your subtraction block will be your turn value. Now we're done with one motor. We're going to do our second motor by grabbing a subtraction block. And in the second value of the subtraction block, 5. In the first value of the subtraction block, we are going to want a multiplication block. In the second value of the multiplication block, you're going to do negative 1. In the first value of the multiplication block, you will do a subtraction block. In the second value of the subtraction block, you will do a gyro angle block. And in the first value, you're going to do your turn value. This here is how it's going to calculate your motor speed. Then, you're going to go to motors, and you're going to go and grab a stop motor block. Duplicate it so you have two and switch the ports to your motor ports, B and C in my case. Then you are going to go and you are going to get an operator. This operator will be a less than or equal to block. You are going to grab an gyro angle block and then an addition block. The second value of the addition block will be 1, and the first value of the addition block will be turn value. You are going to add a movement block, and this movement block will be start moving at 50-50 speed, just like this one. For the first motor speed, you are going to grab a subtraction block, and you are going to do 5 for the second value. And for the first value, you are going to do an addition block. In the second value of the addition block, you will do a multi multiplication block. In the second value of the multiplication block, you will do negative 1. The first value of the multiplication block will be turn value. The first value of the addition block will be... Sorry. Turn value is the first value of the addition block. Here, you are going to want your gyro angle. For the second block, for the second motor, you are going to want an addition block. The second value of the addition block will be 5, and the first value of the addition block will be a multiplication block. In the second value of the multiplication block, you will want negative 1. And the first value of the multiplication block will be an addition block. The second value of the addition block will be a 
multiplication block. The first value of the addition block will be turn value. The first value of the multiplication block will be your gyro angle. And the second will be negative 1. You're going to duplicate your B and C motor shut off, and you're going to put that right under the repeat until block. Then, You'll grab your gyro reset angle block and put it at the very bottom of this whole thing and put the program back together. The program I just showed you how to make is very simple if you understand it. This turning program is a very special type of turning program. The closer the robot gets to its target angle, the slower it goes. Therefore, decelerating and getting very slow at the end that way, it gets a very precise value while still being a fast turn. I just showed you how to make a my block for this program. That means that you will have a block in your code that you can use whenever you want. This block is called gyro turn and it has an input. Whatever you input is the direction and angle it turns. So if you do 90, it will turn to the right 90 degrees. If you input negative 80, it will turn to the left 80 degrees. The program is actually very simple to understand. To start off, the robot resets its gyro sensor. That means that any value the gyro sensor may previously have been sensing is switched back to zero. Then we have the if then else block. This determines if the robot turns right or left. At the beginning, when the user types in the value of how far they want the robot to turn, they'll either make it positive or negative. Positive will make the robot turn right, and negative will make the robot turn left. So if turn value is greater than zero, or in other words, if turn value is positive, then it will execute this right turning program. If it is negative, it will execute this left turning program. For the rest of the program, it will either be executing the green bit of code or the blue bit of code. Let's dial in a little bit. This here is the if case of the if then else block. As you can see, the block we're going to be focusing on is the repeat until block. This repeat until block will repeat this block here until the gyro sensor is greater than turn value. Essentially, it will keep repeating until the robot has reached its value. As you can see, this here is the main equation. This is what runs it. This is the very simplest one. It takes turn value, which is whatever the user inputs, subtracts the gyro angle from it, and then adds 5. Adding 5, we'll talk about that a little bit later, but that's not really important. So all you need to focus on is turn value minus gyro angle. Taking your turn value minus your gyro angle will get a smaller reading the closer the robot gets to its target. This reading is what we use for speed, which is why this combination of blocks is in the input for the first motor speed. These four equations run throughout the program with slight simil with slight um, differences, but they're all just about the same fundamentally. We have this one, which is the one we just went over. Then this one, which is exactly the same, except for the fact that it's negative. So it will go the opposite direction as this one, so that it actually effectively turns. This here, since it's in the moving left case, is a little bit different because we have to make them go different directions, but all fundamentally the same with the turn value and the gyro angle getting making a smaller and smaller value turning down the speed.